Hello, my pretties. Getting kind of dry. Hold on. Okay. Hello, my pretties. Hello again. It is Friday. Uh, this box actually came in yesterday, but it was kind of my, not late night, but late night. You know, because I am the one clerical person that stays until the doctor is done. Apparently everyone else, you know, their family and their animals and their time is too precious for that. And so I'm it. So today was the first time getting to do this. But this is my uh, Boxy Charm by Ipsy. Uh, they did raise the price. It is now $30 with a $2 shipping and handling. They say, you know, due to inflation. And if they raise the prices, they'll be able to get us better products. I don't believe that. I think they're just greedy um, because my selections were awful and I'm not loving what I got. But, I digress. This will actually start the giveaway for uh, the regular mystery box that I have, that I do every quarter now. Um, you know my, well, for those who are new, my rules are simple. You old timers know what my rules are. They're simple. One, be subscribed. I don't think that's hard to do. Two, like all the regular videos for this month. It's not too many, <laughs> starting from this point. Uh, not the Christmas mystery box ones, okay? Those are separate. There's two different giveaways, the regular and the Christmas one. So I can tell them apart. And three, leave an emoji. Not the same one as the Christmas one, Okay, separation, please. Um, but any emoji. You can even do the flipping off emoji. I will find it hilarious because I am that person. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, so with, and that will end at the end of the month. So that would be, uh, December 31st and a winner is chosen January 1st so you have a little extra time for this one we're gonna jump on into this I'm gonna change the camera so you can get a um, better view of the products and not my pretty face so hold on I'll be right back hello my pretties I'm back And we have our Ipsy box. There you go, Ipsy. Uh, this is the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. This is now with shipping, thirty-two dollars. Not happy about the increase in the price because um, honestly, my selections sucked and my options. We're very limited, and so I'm not stoked about what's in the box. Uh, but let's open her up. Let's see what I got. We got five regular items plus the Beauty Boost. This one is new. We have a little pamphlet and a newspaper-ish like. This is Bocce Charm. You're the main attraction has some of the items that are in the box here. And, and you have some number perks and blah, blah, blahs on the back. I did get two um, add-ons because I, I wanted. First item in my Ipsy, well, Boxy Charm by Ipsy box is uh, from Otisite. This is the 
Renewing Serum, Retinol and Hyaluronic Acid, Encapsulated Stable Technology Serum. Uh, this retails for $78. Here is what that looks like. I do have another item from Odyssey. It is a toner, I believe. Um, so this will go in my skincare stash so I can use at a later date. Is there, and there is no expiration date on here. Thank goodness. Next we have from Luna Magic Beauty. This is the Soft Perfection Foundation Powder. I got it in medium. This does retail for $25. Besides it being pink, I like this ombre. If it was like purple or an other color, black, I would love it more. <laughs> you know me in pink. There it is. It blends out to almost nothing. It's a bit, I feel like powdery. Like, um, hazy. I don't know. Uh, FYI. In the beginning of the video, you did see my face. Um, I am currently wearing this uh, foundation. It looks okay. Like, it, it's not amazing. To me, it looks a bit dull. But, you know, it kind of just smooths out my complexion and I look all one color I don't look terrible nothing is like really settling in those fine lines well not 10 hours later in the beginning when I did put it on this morning um you know I put the foundation on my blush my bronzer, did my eyebrows. My eyes were done before I did the foundation. Um, and by the time I got to do my eyeliner, it was already like creasing in my lines underneath my eyes. And I just kind of took my finger and smoothed it out. And it, it did a pretty good job. And then I did set it like with some setting powder. So maybe that's what makes it last a little longer this is better than most powder foundations i have tried um but i feel like it's a bit dull like i don't see any luminosity in my skin i don't feel like it's doing anything amazing um i might when for the try on i might do like a highlighter a liquid highlighter underneath with an SPF and kind of mix it together to give me um, a glow plus sun protection. So we will try give that a try on Monday. Uh, next we have from Ace Beauté. This is a face set. Now I can't find these on the Ace Beauté site whatsoever, so I'm going to say zero value. Uh, the other month, I got some Ace, hold on, Ace Beauté uh, eye brushes, and I thought they were a bit stiff. Well, these, okay, this one I, I would definitely use. doesn't say what you're supposed to use this these for but this one I would use for my contour believe it or not because of the way it looks 
this one for my highlighter, and this one for my blush. Um, they feel kind of cheap, but I am going to give them a try. Okay, next we have is another set of brushes. These are from MOTD. This is the Starter Eye Makeup Brush Set. This retails for $43. I feel like that's a lot. I like this chromey green color. That's really interesting. Uh, let's see. It says we have a no fudge, just smudge pigment packer blending bestie eye catching crease and brow chica chica wow. <laughs> uh, so I now have another brush set for my eyes. So combined, I almost have like a full set. Uh, but if I had more of these in this color, that would be fabulous. Of the regular items, this is the last thing. This is from Il Maquillage. This is the color Boss Squad. I've gotten this before. Um, this does retail for $48. It's in the palette Trendsetter. Here that is. And look at that. It's pink. You know what I'm going to say about this. I'm going to say is I don't fuck with pink. I don't like pink. Not whatsoever. Not at all. I avoid it at all costs. Um, and so this is going to go into a future giveaway. For my beauty boost, we have from Kate Somerville. This is the Daily Deflect Def yeah, Deflector Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This does retail for $54. This has an expiration of 1024. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it by then. Here is what the packaging looks like. And did I say that it retails for $54? Well, it does. Um, as far as my add-ons go, I got this file. This was $3.50. It's one of those glass files, you know. They they say once you try a glass file, it'll one it'll never get dull. And two, you will thank yourself. Just right now, just a thumbnail. It has a weird sound to it. When you're scraping on your nail, I wonder how well this will do with my gel stickers. We'll see. But I wanted to give it a try. And my next item is, again, another $350 item. This is from Tolly Morley. This is the Chuck Chuck Green Tea Watery Cream. I have some other things from Tony Moly, and I'm trying to build up that little skincare set that I, that has been started. So I thought, why not? All right, so this minus the face brushes because I can't find them on a site anywhere to buy them. Uh, come out to a hundred and ninety-four dollars. It comes out to. 248 not bad but do you see why i say i did not like i don't like the price hike because one you say you can give us better items for because of the price hike and this is kind of shitty just saying Uh, what did you think? 
with that, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.